It's worth discovering a lot about Mars. It, it's all about going into the ancient rock records. Opportunity, which landed back in January 2004 and was expected to operate 90 days or 180 days, and we're on our 10th anniversary. And Curiosity is a larger rover, much more capable in terms of instrumentation, and it landed back in August 2012. Third rover is Spirit, which also landed in January 2004 and it lasted way out of, of warranty until uh, March 2010. The expectations when we, when we first developed this mission, which was in the early 2000s, uh, we thought we'd fly one rover, and then we had the opportunity to fly two because landing on Mars is a terror, right? It's all automatic, and the atmosphere is not your friend. You know, it buffets the spacecraft on the way. We're not exactly sure of the atmospheric conditions during entry, so we flew two rovers, you know, coming in with uh, aero shields and parachutes and airbags for Spirit and Opportunity because we thought one would work. Two worked. No one in their wildest dreams thought that Spirit would last through 2010 and that we would be commanding Opportunity in January 2014 beyond our wildest dreams. The principal investigator is Steve Squires from Cornell and we often talk about if we had our, our rock hammers and our boots we could do a lot more over a short period of time relative to the rovers, but we can't do that, right? So we operate, you know, through this little soda straw, getting data back each day. It's still exciting. You know, imagine coming into work each day, and if the rover is driven, there's a new horizon, a new vista that no one's ever seen before. And sometimes with just amazingly uh, beautiful terrain that's eerily like the Earth's deserts, and sometimes with major discoveries right in front of us. Last week, a new rock showed up where we're working with Opportunity, and it rolled downhill from a, a location that we had driven over, and it turned upside down, and there's new white material exposed that's probably produced by alteration in water a long time ago, but it's right in front of us. So it's serendipity, you know, and we, we continue to make these amazing discoveries, even though the rover is 10 years old, it's very dirty, a little bit arthritic, you know, old rovers, dirty rovers, still making new discoveries. Getting down, digging in the dirt, grinding into the rocks, and finding evidence directly in the mineralogy, the morphology, you know, the lay of the land. Exploding volcanoes that were steam charged from spirit observations in Gusev Crater. Landing on ancient lake beds and documenting all the evidence from the rock record. We also serendipitously, driving along the surface for both Spirit and Opportunity, discovered meteorites. And that was totally unexpected in terms of, of observation capabilities. And then finally getting up onto Endeavor, this ancient crater on the rim of the, of the crater, and finding evidence for much more clement conditions, ancient conditions in terms of water, much more habitable conditions with water flowing through fractures was these are major discoveries and highlights of my career.